ladies. Hey, congratulations for uh, Food Club. Thank you. Thank you. And so let's start off the easy question. Why did both of you want to do a film like that is so dramatic and, and comedic like Food Club? Oh, Barbara called me and um, I didn't um, know her at all. You know, yeah, it's no, it's a lie. Yeah, I, I knew her when she was, um, when she was a little girl. She made a, a production in the D Danish television for children and she had a leading part there called Nana. Uh, so I have seen her before, but I didn't know her at all. Um, I was interesting uh, because it was so seldom that it that there is a film with three elderly women um, in the leading part. We also we very often have small parts. It's grandmothers and and uh, rather interesting parts, not parts where we do have a life and a history, do have a uh, desires of, of, uh, of uh, more lives, even if we are 70, we are not dead yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> and we, we want to, we want to, to, to uh, have, um, to still, we still want to dream and to have our hopes and yeah, and to, to have our fantasies. That's excellent. And, Yes. yes, and we still want to make friends, and we are dependent if all have left you. Um, you are so dependent on your girlfriends from uh, from your young days, and it is very important that you have someone uh, who take uh, a nose about you who knows about you from you were a little girl, knows your family, uh, who gives you an, an identity uh, and you feel alive again, together with your friends. What well, well, for you, Stina? Yes, well, Kirsten more, more or less put words on my thoughts as well. I mean, I, I, I was very fond of the fact that it was a movie about three three friends, three women. And I liked, really much like the fact that the three characters are, I mean, all three of us are as important. This is not a story about, mm -hmm. about one elderly woman with two friends. It's a story about three elderly women who are good friends. And um, the older you get, the more important the phenomenon of friendship and especially friendship between girl friends. <laughs> Uh, the more important that get for you, that, that was really, that's really my feeling personally. So that was why I was so happy about getting a script was that what was about that. Actually, I mean, the men, they disappear and they die and they, 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 they are not there anymore. And, but the, 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 the friends are the women, the female friends. That's why my experience anyway. How, how did you, uh, all three of you, develop your friendship before doing this film? What, how did you develop your chemistry? You know, the, be, being, being, because, because you, you almost seems like you were friends yourself during the movie. It was, yes, uh, well, we knew each other before. Ah. Yeah, but we have never worked together. But in uh, this case, we, we had many meetings uh, with Barbara together. And uh, we have um, many discussions uh, around uh, the script. It was very important for us that we had the right tone uh, between the three ladies. Oh, I, now you are gone from my screen. I'm still here. I don't know. Oh, you're still there <laughs> behind something. I don't know what it is. It's very hard. Yeah. Um, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. But you okay. Could hear me. Was, yeah. <laughs> okay. But um, what was the question? 
<laughs> well, we, 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 we developed sort of the, the parts together with the directory, if one can say. I mean, we talked about it and discussed yeah. it, of course. And, and uh, I mean, the director is, she's 20 years younger than we are. We are 65, 70, and she's around 40 or something. So there were some things that was different for her being a woman of, of, of her age. And we would say, no, that's not the case. You wouldn't react like that. You wouldn't say thing like that, uh, be like that in, in this age. And that was very interesting discussions you, you, we had with her around that. And, and also the, the woman who was writing the script that um, some things really change the way you look at them and the way you behave. Uh, compared to how they were when you were 45 and now 65. And that was a good thing about the three of us, Kirsten and Kirsten and me, that we are the same age, we are the same generation, we share the same experiences of what, more or less of what, what, what life has been. So we, uh, we used each other a lot and we are very different as characters also, the three of us as the persons we are. But we like each other and respect each other very much and um, got together very well. I, I would say we, we developed a really beautiful working friend, work friendship during the time. And <laughs> Excellent. Um, during, your, during your time in Italy, did you, did you love Italy so much that you treat it as work or did you treat it as like a vacation for yourself? Oh, it was very much of work because it was a long, long shooting days. But uh, when we had uh, uh, our leave from the film, we were around in the, the area and we were tourists. Well, of course we were. Yeah, we want to, to uh, see so much of this wonderful part of Italy as we could. We have never been there before. No, not in that part of Italy, none of us. So, so of course we... we we, we, I mean, Italy, everybody loves Italy. You would be strange yeah. if you didn't love Italy. So, of course, that was also part of a reason for accepting this, this part and this work, because you, you could go to Italy in November, where Scandinavia is really dark and wet and, and mm -hmm. gloomy. So that was inspiring. But actually, the, the working days were so long and, and, and the, 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 the schedule was so tight so really, it was much more work than, than vacation, I would say. <laughs> now, the cooking food scenes, how much did you actually get a chance to cook and how much of it was actually pretend to cook? Oh, it was very much pretending. I, I'm not very, uh, very uh, good cook. I can't cook at all. Um, I can boil an egg. But uh, I think it's, um, it's film, you know, uh, and you have to make the f scene over and over again. And uh, in the end, the food is terrible because <laughs> you just put more and more salt to it, more and more pepper and more, too much tomato. It's the balance of the food has long gone. <laughs> so, Stina, how's your are, cooking? No, it's, it's, it's bad. I mean, Kirsten, actually, she knows how to cook and anyway, more <laughs> better than I do. I'm not, I'm, I'm really not very interested in, in, in food uh, and cooking and so on. But, but, but I, I thought it was, it was, it was, it, it was nice to be in the kitchen and to be together with the food and the vegetables and the, and the, the smell and, and, and the, it's, it's, it was very, all very sensual. But as Kirsten said, of course, you keep on doing the same thing and again and again and again, and, and then, it doesn't taste well and it doesn't look good, but um, anyway, of, co of course, it was it was nice being being sort of being together with the food. Me personally, I prefer to to do to, to do things with with the vegetables and the fruit. I'm not very not I wasn't wasn't so fond of the flesh and the fish things, but but um, of course, it's insp inspired. I mean, when you're an actor, you are you are learning some things all the time, and and you are you are the whole the whole work as being an uh, being an actor is sort of learning to do whatever i mean of course i i came home with some new uh, uh, knowledge about uh, pasta orichetti and mon yeah. uh, mozzarella i actually i actually did now come to think about it yes <laughs> that was 
<laughs> it did sound like a fun thing to do. So for the dinner scenes, those are real food. Did you had a chance to eat them too? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you did. Yes, we, we, I was, yes. Uh, and, and some, some, of the, some of the dishes were really delicious and we had a chef who were doing uh, some of them, uh, an Italian chef was really, really, really great. So that was nice. But the food we were doing ourselves, we're putting lots and lots of the same stuff in all the time, wasn't of course that delicious, but it was fun. <laughs> it, look, it looked like a lot of fun. That, um, that villa, that via there um, in Italy was, that's a beautiful place that, uh, that was actually filmed at. Did you have a chance to stay there or it was just uh, for work production? Um, it was just for the work production, but there were, um, but we have some vegans where we were around and s to see um, every part <laughs> in uh, this uh, pool, yeah, where the film takes place. Yes, it was a very beautiful country down there. It's um, yeah. mm -hmm. it's reminders of. Um, of Greece, it's only fifty kilometers from kilometers from Greece, mm -hmm. in fact, and um, it's it's uh, red soil and it's um, lots of stones, but mm -hmm. it's, it's it, but it's um, at the same time it's very very fertile, yes, and there are lots of fruits and and vegetables in the area, you yeah. know. Wow, that sounds and beautiful. Wine, and wine, yes. And olive trees. Yes, and olive, olive trees, trees all over. Trees. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. not so very many tourists, so it's a very sort of rough and, and um, hot and dry, but very, very beautiful archaic landscape. Yeah. But actually we were working really, really hard, long days and um, yeah. not so much spare time but we will, I would like to go there again it's really it's really nice Puriya. Mm. I know it almost makes me want to go there myself too so yes, you should. <laughs> and how how grateful are, are you that uh, this uh, this entire film is almost entirely completely uh, Danish um, I mean there's a little bit of English in there but uh, but uh, but that makes you more comfortable right don't don't forget Stina. She is from Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we we we're not we're not. None of us are that good at Italian. We we know a little bit Italian, but um, of course it's 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 great to be able to do it in in, in one's own language. That that sounds great. Well, let let me wrap it up with uh, one more question because. Uh, because there was a fun scene that I, it, it looked like a lot of fun for you, but I don't know how hard it was, was the robbery scene. Yeah. Was it a lot, was that a lot of fun or was that hard to chase somebody through the villages <laughs> in Italy? <laughs> it was fun. I think it was fun. But uh, of course it's hard for us to run. Again and again, we are not that young, <laughs> but it was fun for us. We 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 made fun of Barbara, and we we called this this is Barbara's action scene. She yeah, absolutely action. wanted an action scene, and we and we said we do, well, we don't need this action scene. What what's this good for? But but she she was persistent, and this is has to be, and 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 we 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 were quite. Uh, quite sort of burst, gloomy and, and contradictionary that day. I mean, all of us. And, and it was the coldest day. All of the days when we were shooting were really beautiful. This was in November, but the, the weather was great. Warm and sort of wonderful, warm and sensuous. But this day was so cold. Do you remember, Kirsten? It was a horrible day. We were freezing to death. And we have to run, and it was the, the water, and we had our shoes with heels on. It was not very funny, actually. But when when I when I saw it, and afterward, I thought it was quite fun anyway. Don't you think so, Kirsten? It was quite nice. It was, it was funny. Oh. <laughs> I think I think that was an excellent scene. And we, and we, and Sina, before I let you go, um, um, I just have a quick question. Did you get to keep that big hat that you wore in the movie? <laughs> 
Unfortunately not. Um, but um, I would have loved to. I, so I think it was a very expensive and special hat, so I couldn't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that hat looked good on you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Well, hey, ladies, hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking to me about uh, Food Club. It was a qu quite enjoyable movie. It put a smile on my face. So, you know, then again, any movies in Italy would put a smile on my face. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. Nice meeting. You. Bye thank now. You.